Hey, come check out this nice, easy technique to clean your Civil War era buttons. Hey guys, welcome back to 5280 Adventures. Today in this video, I'm going to show you one technique to clean those Civil War era general service buttons. I have been lucky enough to have found a couple different uh, general service buttons here recently on some, on some couple hunts out here in Colorado. The buttons that I have found, I just want to get a little bit of that dirt off of it, a little bit of the grime, and maybe have some of that history start to poke through it so I can display it in a nice way. So in this particular technique today, what I'm going to use is hydrogen peroxide. I just picked this up at my grocery store. It's like a buck or something um, for this huge container. I found that this probably works out the best. I know that there's other techniques and other products that you can use to clean the buttons. And in fact, if you guys can leave me a comment down below, exactly what do you use to clean your buttons with? For this particular technique, you are gonna need your hydrogen peroxide, a small bowl that you can soak your button in, of course your button, and as you can see on this particular button, there is a lot of uh, detail that's still on there, so I just really wanna make that stand out a little bit, clean it up. I don't wanna damage it, um, I don't wanna treat it for too long, but I do wanna try and get a little bit of that grime off um, as it's been sitting in the ground for a long time. And the last thing you're gonna need are some Q-tips um, to clean the button once it's soaked for a while. So what we're going to do is we're going to start with the button in the bowl. Uh, I prefer to use it face down. That way it's not rolling around inside that bowl when you put it into the microwave. We're going to fill this with hydrogen peroxide over the top of the shank. I'm going to make sure that it's completely covered and no part of it is sticking out. From here what we're going to do is we're going to grab this bowl and we're going to heat up all the contents in the microwave. We're going to set it inside here. We're going to set this for 30 seconds and let that run. What that's going to do is that's going to heat up that hydrogen peroxide and it's going to almost like activate the cleaning agents inside of that. All right, we're going to check on this right now. What should be going on is when we heated up the peroxide, you can see now that's actually bubbling up on the button and that's doing some cleaning on it. We're gonna let this sit in this solution here for about 15 minutes. We're gonna let it do its job. We're gonna come back and see how it looks at that time. All right, I've waited about 20 minutes. It's still bubbling pretty good, but I'm gonna go ahead and get that out, start working on it with the uh, Q-tips to clean it up a little bit, and let's see how it turns out. Yeah, the, the peroxide definitely uh, is, is cooled off now. Um, it's really not doing that much to lift off anything. Wow, this, this looks incredible. Um, I'm gonna show you this right here. Um, if you can really see it it has taken a lot of that darker grime off that was around it the details are definitely starting to poke through now now what i'm going to do here is i'm going to take a q-tip i'm going to dip it in that peroxide solution and i'm just going to gently clean the actual button itself see if i can get in between uh inside that shield make sure that those lines come out i love the definition around the arrows that are in one of the uh, feet of this eagle and I'm going to gently clean as much as I can in between everything as well as around the backside and the backside finally I can finally see the maker's mark on the backside um, and I'm going to show you some some pictures here as we get finished and you can just see how many details have actually come out um, because of this process so let's get this in there let's start cleaning and uh, really make this thing pop all right, so I've got the button right here. We're just gonna dip this in here and we're just gonna work it onto the button itself. Try and work it in there as best as we can. And even with all of that soaking, um, with us rubbing it like this, you can kind of see already um, how much additional dirt's coming off of that. Um, be gentle with this. Um, I definitely would not suggest any sort of cleaning um, or amateur cleaning. 
um, on any buttons that are of you know high value, anything like that. Um, so I'm going to continue to work that in. Use another end here until you get the Q-tip to be clean when you're done washing this. Um, that's th but that's when you're probably going to want to want to stop. Um, I do think the front here is probably as good as it's going to get right now. I'm going to flip it over. I'm going to grab a new Q-tip, and we're going to work the back a little bit. Get around the shank, um, which is where some things can get hung up on it. Work around the back here. This is a two-piece, so I am going to run around uh, the, the location that it actually connects the two of them. We do have some, some dirt still coming off the back as expected. And we're going to work this. This is turning out fantastic. Uh, the details in this are really starting to show through. Uh, the outstanding thing that I have to say is the dirt that I've dug this out of out here in Colorado has been extremely kind to these buttons. I don't have any sort of deterioration. It's not rusted. It's definitely not uh, pitted or uh, look like it's uh, damaged in any, in any way, which is fantastic. Oh, that looks great. So once you get to the point that you do like the way that the details are showing on your button, um, there's a couple different options for you. You can leave it just like that. There's nothing wrong with having just your button exposed completely like that. There is no guilt on this particular button, so I'm not going to do any sort of other treatment to make it stand out or pop or anything like that. But this button, um, as you can see right here, the details have really come out on this after doing this particular kind of treatment. You can see all of the detail in the shield. There's a beautiful, uh, the wings look absolutely gorgeous. And if we look at the back over here, you can now see that there's extra writing on the back. This particular button does say extra quality. That particular mark on the back there will, uh, through some research, will be able to tell you exactly when that was made, who was assigned to, and then give you a pretty good date um, when these buttons were in use. The final thing that I want to talk about is actually preserving the button itself. There's a bunch of different other techniques that a lot of people have uh, on how they preserve their particular buttons. Like I did say, you don't have to put anything else on it. You can display it just like this. It's absolutely beautiful, and there's nothing wrong with that particular button right there. If you want, there's another product that you can place on that to preserve it, make it shine a little bit, and I'm going to show you that right now. The last final step that I'm going to do on this particular button now that I've cleaned is I'm going to apply a little bit of Vaseline on that. There's many different things that people put on there to preserve it. And in fact, if you guys have some suggestions, again, leave me some comments down below as to how you clean it, what you clean your buttons with, and the things that you put on top of that to preserve it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to dip my finger in here a little bit. I don't want a lot. I just want a little bit just to cover my fingertip. And I'm going to just rub it in on this button. It will actually soak into the button itself. It's going to give it a little bit of a shine to it. I don't want too much on there. I just want enough that I can get in the nooks and crannies, turn it over and get the back as well. And if you need to, just a little bit on a Q-tip as well to get inside all of the hard to reach areas right inside there and even wipe off any of the excess that maybe you had on top of that. And I think this is turning out absolutely fantastic. Wow, that's amazing how much a little bit of light cleaning does to these buttons. Uh, again, I'm going to reiterate that this isn't the only way to do this. 
Many people have di many different ways. I have found that this way is most productive for the buttons that I find here in Colorado. And as you can see here, the difference between all three pictures, we've got the starting button, the button after cleaning with the peroxide, and the final button after we've applied the preserving agent of Vaseline on it. If you guys really enjoyed this video, what I'm gonna ask of you is that you just click on the subscribe button that's right down here in the bottom of the screen. Make sure that you hit that bell notification and leave me a like on this video. There's a couple other videos here on the screen. Go ahead and click on those and you can see some other of the adventures that I've gone on. I thank you for watching this video and I'll see you on the next adventure. Take care.